Uh, today we have a 2006 Honda Accord and we're going to remove the door lock uh, actuator uh, on the driver's door. Uh, customers complaining that uh, when they hit the remote it doesn't lock the driver's door or it doesn't unlock the driver's door but all the other doors work and also it, the driver's uh, door doesn't work with, uh, with the actual switch here. It's just not even moving. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the door panel off we're going to pull the liner off and then we're going to go ahead and remove um, the actual assembly over here on the side. Um, it's a little bit of a job, so um, let's try to be patient. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we want to remove this little cover. There's a little indentation on the side where it has like a little deal here and we want to try to get behind that. And pull the cover off. This is the little piece here that you want to kind of push in. And then there's two screws there. We're going to get out Phillips screws. And then this goes back, just goes in and snaps right back in. I'm going to take these two screws off. The two screws there. Next inside of here, there's a little rubber cover. Just take a little screwdriver, kind of push it, and it will slide right out. Not clipped in or anything. It goes only in a certain way, like the round edges that go here. And then there's a little Phillips screw inside of there too, so go ahead and take that off. Simple. And then next we want to take uh, the window switch off. So what I like to do is, you can either use a screwdriver or like a plastic tool. You can get it in there. There we go. Get it right under there. And then just kind of pry the switch up as you go along. take that switch out and then we want to go ahead and just take off the harnesses take off the top harness just take your screwdriver push down a little thing and just unplug it around and then the other side same thing we just want to push down on the little tab and then just pull it out and then reverse order to put it back in next up here we want to take this little cover off I kind of just pull on it so I can get my screwdriver behind it and then it just pops right out and then reverse order to put it back in. We want to remove the actual door panel itself. We've got all the screws that we need to get off of there. Uh, some people can pull on it. Um, you could use a, either a door panel tool or some kind of wedges. Um, I like to use the wedges because they're a little bit skinnier and they can kind of get in there and help you out. So just kind of get it under there. Kind of just work your way around. And you can then once you get your hands in there, you can just slowly pull, pull towards you and pop all the clips. Now you want to be real careful on this next step. These Hondas from 03 to 07, they're really notorious for people pulling the panels off and the and the cables that go to the uh, the handle here um, tend to want to break uh, the little cable inside. So you don't want to just yank the panel out. You want to get it off, uh, lift it up, and just barely get it to where you can actually get your hands back there and remove the cables. And when you remove those cables, you want to pull away from you evenly to get that cable out because they get brittle and sometimes they want to break. So hopefully that doesn't happen to us today. Um, so we got the panel loose here. Now we're going to slide it up and we're going to get up to right there. I'll bring you around and I'll show you. Lift the panel up. One cable right here. Now, first we want to do is we want to unsnap this little clip right here. Like that. And then pull the cable out from the little slot that is there. And then now what we want to do is we want to... I like to use a little screwdriver. I'm going to do this. So what we're going to do... Is get that screwdriver underneath this part. Just kind of, kind of pry it like that as you're pulling it with your hand, and then it'll pull it out. Now these tend to break right up in here, so you got to be real careful even putting it back in. This one looks really brittle. Um, 
we put it in and then we push it back in evenly, okay? So now that we got the panel off, the next step would be to unplug the light. So basically just turn, turn it, unplug the light, and then what we want to do is, you know, get either a, a door panel tool or something that you can get under here to unclip this. So I'll clip that so you get that little clip on there. And then just hang the light somewhere. Okay, so the next step after removing the panel is going to be to pull this plastic liner off. So we're going to go ahead and do that as carefully as possible. This one's actually in very good shape, so it's coming right off. Let's just get that and kind of move it out of the way. gives you room to work in here, okay? And so the next step, we're gonna take this little uh, piece off here, little screw here, and then, the, and then the 10 millimeter bolt that's right there. It basically just pops out of there. There's a little guy just goes right in there, goes and snaps right back in. So we wanna get that out of the way. Next, a little bit further down, we wanna take off this little Phillips screw. And just kind of keep your screws uh, in a spot where you kind of set them down so you don't forget where they go. A little bit further down, you want to pinch this here, push that harness through. Down. You have this 10 millimeter bolt. This come off. Okay. Latch assembly is. Now they are, a lot of them are really difficult to take off. You can use kind of an impact type thing where you stick it in there. It's a real thick um, Phillips head, and then you bang on it with like a hammer. I was able to just kind of go like this and and break it loose. They they weren't too difficult um, on this car. I'm not going to say they're not difficult because a lot of times they are pretty difficult on other cars. These I've already broken loose, but I just used this. I didn't even hit it with anything. I just used a big enough screwdriver. Just to get some leverage. So we're gonna, those are the three screws that we're getting off. Okay. Set those aside. I'm gonna lift this up. There's two uh, like clip-like uh, hooks. That that's the cover, I believe, for the um, for the whole door lock assembly and all that. So what you want to do is lift it up and then push it through. Okay. Before we go and take that out. We want to make sure, and I, did, I should have said this at the beginning, make sure that your window's rolled up. Let's take this channel out of there. We don't need to take that off. But we want to make sure that the window's rolled up. So I'm going to plug the switch back in because we want to have enough room uh, to pull uh, that assembly out of there. Let's just roll the window up. Get it out of the way. Now we have now we can go ahead and lift this up, kind of pull it towards us. Now, once we got that loose, now there's a couple other things we need to take off. Um, I believe there's like uh, there's like two uh, small rods in there that we need to unsnap. They have some clips on there. I'm gonna try to bring you in see if I can get enough light in there, um, and then we're gonna unsnap those, and then. Um, gonna do yeah we're gonna go ahead and pull the channel just because putting that rubber piece seems like it goes right back in really easy so that there's a channel that runs down here it's like a metal guide with the, with, the, with the, like a rubber piece insert for the glass so what you want to do is uh like just pull the rubber piece off of it basically pull it towards you Basically, all we're doing is we're pulling the rubber piece out. When we put it back in, we're going to slide it back in like that. It goes in real easy. We're going to slide it right back in like that. Okay. So let's just get this. Let's get this channel out of the way. And then let's get this rubber piece and kind of tuck it up here so it's out of the way as well. So then now we're going to go ahead and and, and release those uh, clips. One of them you can get to it with your hand. It's pretty simple. Let's see if I can bring you in here real quick. 
here here's the assembly in here that's the assembly right there back you up a little bit there's a couple rods coming off of it so there's a couple of ways I guess you could take this off for one I know like the back the back rod not the one here in the front the back rod needs we need to pop that clip off so I'm trying to see how that one's coming off that seems like it's the hardest one to remove because it's way back there see any other option but but to get that out so it looks like it might unclip towards me one a lot of people took off this top one up here I don't know why it looks like you can take this bottom one off right here yes. okay, so right there this you unclip it from here and then you pull it towards you this way and then it clips that part that one's off there and then further up you see that green one back there you gotta figure out how to get that one off <laughs> so it's more of a touchy-feely to get it out that little piece let me pull it out and I'll show you you can see it up there I guess that that piece right there that green piece that thing right there I guess you pull it towards you and it unclips the um, the actual uh, rod that goes there the assembly loose it's all loose here so now we got the assembly all loose now what we want to do is um, to make this easy we're going to go ahead and pull the that little door lock thing we're going to unsnap it from here so just take some needle nose pliers squish the back of it and that'll release that clip from there and then we're going to pull we're going to get this whole um, we're going to get this whole mechanism out Remember that it goes right through there. Put it back in. Then you can work on this on the bench when you put the actuator back in here. Now the actuator sits inside of here. So what we're going to go ahead and do now, we're just going to unplug these two. And we're just basically just pushing down on the little tab and pulling them out. And they're two different plugs, so you can't mess up putting them back in. So, so now we're going to go ahead and take this apart and then see where the actuator, I believe. The actuator is probably right in here where the, where the kit connections are at. So let's go ahead and put it on our bench. And oh, um, it looks like there's a screw right there, a little tiny one. It's a small Phillips like that. A little tiny screw. Now, once we get this cover, I'll be real careful with this, the position of this. We don't want this flying out. Um, okay. What we're gonna do is, once we get that screw out, we want to take this plastic cover off. I, I don't know if we have to remove it, but I'm going to remove it. So I just want to get it out of the way because it's kind of... Now the cable feeds through here, so we want to make sure that, you know, we're pulling it out, that we put it back in the same way. So we're going to pull that out, use it from there, and then it should pull out. Now. So we're going to clip there. So, we look, 
there's a little clip that you push down and then that pulls out. So we're going to put it back in and we feed the cable back through. Okay? Easy. There it is. So you've got to get some kind of leverage here to push it out from that little spot right there. There's like a little piece of metal. Put it back in there, you can see it. Right there. So kind of get your screwdriver and kind of go like that. Okay? And then it just pulls out towards you. So we're not going to take it completely off. We're just going to remove that so we can get to our actual actuator. And try not to move any of this stuff. I don't want any of that popping out. Okay. Our actuator looks like it's right here. So it's going to be basically taking off this little screw here. Be careful here. And then I guess it just slides off that guide right here. I don't see any real locking mechanisms beside it sliding on that guide. And there's a screw there. That's pretty much it. So we'll take that off. We'll slide this out. And then, you know, we'll go ahead, obviously, and take this little piece off of here. When we get our new motor, we'll take that off. We'll pull the cable off. We'll take the screw off. And then we'll slide this out. And then we'll just go reverse order. I'm putting it back in. Okay, so we got our part from the dealership. That's the part number right there. 72155-SDA-A01. So first thing we want to do is you want to make sure it matches up, which I kind of already looked at it in the package, and it does. bolt that and then we're going to put the new one on there. So let's flip it over. Now there's a screw right here, a little tiny screw that we need to take off and then there's a clip right here. So let's go ahead and just take the clip off first. Just basically push it out of the way and then lift the cable out and just get it out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and remove the little screw that's right there. Screw out of the way. When we put this stuff back together, that we're putting it all right back. If you look at this little piece here, it's going to go right inside of there. So we want to make sure that's going to sit exactly identical. So this just lifts out, it's just going to go like that. So I'm going to grab the other one, pop it in there. I'm going to flip it, put the screw back in there. <coughs> Now we are going to have to take the old clip off of here and put it on there because did, that didn't come with it. So what you want to do is you want to squeeze or push these two little things together and then we'll put it back on there. So let's go ahead and let's bolt this down first. There it is. It's got to snap into place right there. Make sure it goes all the way down so that the hole lines up. Now right here, <clears throat> we're going to take the old one and we're going to pop this clip out of here. Oh man, looks like we might need a new clip now. The problem with these, they get really brittle and they do break on you, so that's not good. Back. So. So we ended up breaking this little piece here that holds the rod. Tried not to break it, <laughs> but it was really brittle. So when we tried to push it out, it actually snapped and one of the pieces just flew. Uh, anyways, we're able to get a replacement one. Um, my buddy next door at the body shop had one. He used one. It's a different color, but should work. Snap right in there. 
cable back in and let's snap it. There we go. We're done. I would suggest, Wally, when you get the actuator that you get a new one of these because you're going to have to replace it. And a lot of times they do break. Um, I was trying to be super careful and it still broke on me. So um, it's just a suggestion. Add that and that back into place. Now we just need to tighten this down a little bit better. Make sure this is completely tight. That's it tight there. So we got that and that. Okay. Now we got to do is put the cover back on. basically right here that has to come through that little metal thing. there we go just snapped right in you hear that so we're good to go there and then we just put our little screw back in there and now we can put our cover back on here So this, this bigger cable, the one with the door lock, was the one that was actually in here. What you want to do is you want to put this back on here. Let's get that back into place. Snap that in. Flip it around and then route that cable back through there. Like we had it before. There we go. Now it's ready to go back in the vehicle. Make sure the actuator is going to actually do something. There it goes. Okay, again, that was the problem. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this in. I'm going to guide this back up. To get these plugged in. Now, what we want to do is make sure that we get this thing routed out through here and that our uh, the rod inside that we're facing it up so that we can hook it back a little bit. Give me one second. Fortunately this is pretty hard to videotape in here. Um, I'm trying to get the rod up on top. I can barely even see in here. Let alone try to get a camera in here. So basically it hooks in like that and then you, you, the little, um, that little pin thing looks like this one right here. It wraps around and then it clips right in. Okay, so it's similar to that. And it's the same thing with the handle one. The rod went in there and then I just snapped it back down. So then down here, now we got to get this other rod a little bit better. We're going to put these three screws back in there so it holds this up. And I wouldn't tighten them down just yet, just 
put them in there that way they're not um the the latch isn't falling down on you Now that our latch is kind of lined up, just kind of hand tightening, I'm not super tight. Over here, and this little thing we got to put back in that little slot right there. Like this, Goes like that, and then this piece snaps in like that. Okay. Next thing is going to be to put this thing back on there. So make sure those two things are in there right there and right there and it hooks on and then we'll, we'll start to put this back on and all the other stuff we'll start with uh, this piece here it lines up there channel right now in a bit. So let's just get this back on here. This piece. We're going to push it back in here. This one right here. Put the plastic right there. This piece and snap it back in here. And this harness right here is going to snap back in here. Let's go there. Now we got to put this channel back in there. So we got to go ahead and put it it through here first. Just slide that rear piece back on there. Putting this rear piece on, you want to slide it up as high up as you can, and this will indicate how how high you're going to go. Because if it doesn't line up, means you got to kind of pull it down the rear piece as you slide in that pipe. Okay, so we're going to finish tightening this up. Tighten that bottom bolt. We're going to go ahead and finish tightening up these side ones here. Basically all we're doing now is just putting the door cap back on. So make sure if you take this channel out that you put it back on the door. Okay, so let's get our light. Let's get our light and plug it back in. Clip back in there. Harness is through here. 
So before we hang the panel, the cable back in under here for the door lock. So it snaps back in and then evenly push it down so it snaps together on that shirt. You put the that cable, you put it back in, you lock it back into place and then hang your panel. And just snap it all back into place there. Make sure you plug your harnesses back in. Snaps right back in there. Two screws up here, we'll put those back in. And then we have the one little screw down here by the where you pull on the door. And then you'll have your little rubber piece that you put back in here. And then you have this piece that this side goes in first. The front side. And then it just snaps into place. And then the last piece is right here in front. And you're all set. You have any questions? Hit me up. Thanks for watching.